We are back with another half dollar hunt, but this is not like any other ordinary half dollar hunt. These boxes that we will be doing today are from Iowa. I am from the East Coast and have been looking for the 1974 DDDO. So one of my goals is not only to get Iowa silver brought to the East Coast, but to find my elusive 1974 D DDO. So hopefully we find that. This will be a four box hunt. I already weighed this first box up. It has seven heavy ones. They are marked in arms. They range anywhere from 226 to 227 grams. And we do have one ender that is marked in orange and black. So we have our first Walking Liberty from Iowa. Has a Denver mint mark. So we will see what that is when we open it up. And before I start to open these rolls up, I would like to thank Roy again for bringing these rolls in for me to hunt. I really appreciate it. I cannot thank you enough. So let's get inside these and see what else we could find. We are coming up to that ender. It's a Walking Liberty with a Denver Mint Mark. Weighs a 226.7. So let's see what year it is. I don't see any other silver with it, but we do have a Walking Liberty from 1945. That's awesome. First Walking Liberty from Denver. Well, I shouldn't say from Denver. It's from Denver, from Iowa. So cool. Awesome. We're coming up to that next heavy roll. This is the heaviest one of the bunch. It's a 227 grams. I believe there will be a 90% silver in here. Let's see. Oh, there's something dead in the middle. What is that? going to be a Kennedy 1964 90% silver from Philadelphia cool possibility I see something here oh yeah it's going to be our third one 1968 40% silver from Denver that is cool we are coming up to that next heavy one. It is a 226.3. Oh, there will be one in there. It looks old. Oh, it's going to be another walk in Liberty. That is so cool. That looks like a 1945. I don't see a mint mark, but we will check that at the recap. That is cool. Two walkers in the same box already. That is awesome. It looks like there's something in here. This one weighed a 225.9. Let's see. There might be two in here. Let's look at this one. Oh, it's a 69 from Denver. And is there another one right here? No, it's a 72 from Denver. That was cool. We are coming up to that next heavy one. It's a 226.1. Let's see what we have. I don't see anything, actually. I don't see one. Nope. Sometimes they just weigh more. Oh, it looks like we might have one in here. I weighed a 225.3. And there's a 67. No mint mark. Cool. It looks like we'll have another one in the next roll. Almost an ender. Wow, 66. No mint mark. Another 40 percenter. This is awesome. We are coming up to that next heavy one. This is also a 226 one. So let's see if there's something hiding in this one. Oh, there will be one hiding in this one. Maybe, yep, at least one. Another 67, no mint mark. It's cool. And we will have another one in here. I waited 225.8. Another 67, no mint mark. Cool. Oh, 
Uh, we will have one in here. That was a 225.6. Nice shiny edge. Another 69 from Denver. That is awesome. We are coming up to that next heavy one. It is 226 grams even. So let's see if there's something hiding in this one. And there will not be. Now we will have another silver. 225.8. Let's see what we have. Another 67, no mint mark. So cool. It looks like there's one in there. Let's see. Looks different. Oh yeah, that's silver. Another 68 from Denver. That is cool. We are coming up to that last heavy one. It weighs 226 grams even. So let's see if there's something in this one. Seems like we're getting skunked on most of our heavy rolls. But that's okay. We're doing awesome. We are at box number two. I already weighed all these up. There is one heavy one. It is a 226.8. And there were no enders. So let's see what's inside. Oh, I see something coming through there already. I don't know if you can see that. It will be silver. Look at that pop. That is cool. It's going to be a 1964 90%. And I believe this one is a Denver Mint Mark. Cool. 64 from Denver. Awesome. have a silver down the middle yes we do it's 67 cool we are at box number three I already weighed these up there is one heavy one it is a 226 2 I have no silver enders but we do have some oddities here which are some kind of stickers which I've gotten before but there's actually three of them in this corner and the one is actually a double ended sticker so this looks like from World War II and or it looks like the Civil War. So we're going to see how many of those are actually mixed in here based on three of them. Actually four enders. So let's see what's inside. Wow, there is a wide edge. And we are going to get our first proof. Look at that. Wow, that is a nice one. 1981. San Francisco proof. That is cool. That looks like it was the first time it was dumped. Awesome. We are coming up to that one with the sticker on it. It's from World War II. So let's see what it is. That one is a gold coin right next to it. So let's see what this is. This is actually a looks like a guy's name. U.S. four-star general. 1901 to 1986. 1987 yeah world war ii cool and we also have a gold plated coin a 2013 philadelphia gold plated oh look it's got a commemorative or i should say the confederate flag on the back first florida infantry crazy but cool we are coming up to another one of those stickers from world war ii battle of the bulge and we have December 7th, 1941. Attack on Pearl Harbor. So maybe an attack on Pearl Harbor and the Battle of the Bulge. Cool. Somebody threw a lot of their sticker coins away. We are coming up to another one. This one is actually the Battle of Gaines Mill. Civil War, June 27th, 1862. So somebody threw their collection of sticker coins. But no silver yet in this box. That is pretty cool. That's awesome. Oh, 
I see a gold coin that looks like me. Yep, coming through. Let's see if it's got a sticker on it. Yes, it does. Mars closest approach. August 26, 2003. Crazy. 2017, too. And I have to see Philadelphia. That's cool. We are at box number four. I already weighed these up. There are two heavy ones. They both weigh 226 grams. And we do have one entered as a 1967. It is marked in black. So let's see what's inside. We are coming up to our only entered as a 1967. Let's see if it's got any friends with him. That actually weighed a 225.5. I can give you math. No other silver with him. We did get a 1967. Cool. We are coming up to that one heavy roll, but it seems like these Iowa boxes, 226 is a non silver weight. So let's see. No, no silver in that one. We're coming out of that other roll that weighs 226, so I'm assuming, like the other one, this is a dead weight. But we will check. We had that same problem last time, but we might have a proof. Do we have a proof? No, it's a 97 Philadelphia. Was that a cool hunt or what? Four more boxes from Iowa. This turned out great. 15 silver coins out of our second hunt. If you have not seen the first hunt yet, I will leave a link in the description below so you can go check that out. So we ended up with two walking liberties. One was our ender, a 1945 from Denver, and we did find a 1945 from Philadelphia. 164, I did say Philadelphia when I opened there up, but this is a Denver 1964. 166 and 467s, 268s from Denver, and 269s from Denver. That was a pretty good first box. Box number two, we ended up with a 1964 from Denver and a 1967. Box number three, we did get that cool 1981 San Francisco proof. I love it when they come out this nice. That's about the nicest you're going to get them out of a, a roll of coins. But that is cool. Plus, we ended up getting those six with stickers on them from the World War II and different, different areas. So that was pretty cool, too. I like finding these. They're really, they're really cool. And in box number four, we ended up getting that Lone Ender, 1967. Just because you get an Ender doesn't mean you're going to get more silver. And it, it just shows you have at least one in there. So that's a good start. We always hope to see a lot more, especially when you see an Ender. So that was pretty cool. I did go back and look for errors and varieties. And what we found in box number one was a 1977 D DDL FS 101. So this is pretty cool. And there was no other finds in box number two. Box number three, I ended up finding seven more of those stickered coins. World War II and from the Civil War. And there was a five-star general here. So that's pretty cool. There were no other finds in box number four, but we did find in box number three, my first 1974D DDO FS-101. So we're gonna take a better look at these under the scope. So the first one we're going to look at is the 1977 Denver DDO. I know it's hard to see it here. There's a lot of wear on this and damage. But I thought this was just damage at first because I see a lot of them with damage. But if you look in the T here, you can see the split. The R, it's up in here. The U's all messed up here, but it's here. And in the S. And you can barely see it in the T. But the lighting just glares so much. But this is the FS-101. So that is pretty cool. And the second one stands out a little bit more. You never know what your first one's going to look like. But this is the 1974 D DDO FS-101. Clearly see it in the R, how it stands out. The U, it's in the S here. It is at the T's. It is just crazy. And in the four, you can see the split here and there's a little doubling here. It's in the date. I never see it in the seven much, but the nine just blows out here. And in the one, 
It's got the thickness here. It's supposed to be in, in God, but even the pictures on the internet, you can't, I, I don't see it. I don't have the good enough eye. You can see how thick it is in the L, the I, the B. It really stands out. The E and the R don't stand out as much. You can see it really good here in the T. And in the Y, it just stands out. So we finally found our first 1974 DDDO. So let's try to find a nicer one. This was cool. Our second Iowa hunt. I got two DDOs out of it, a 77 and the 74. That's awesome. And I also noticed when we did the first Iowa hunts that from 226 to about 226.3 in grams, we don't seem to get much silver out of the heavy ones. But it is cool when you do find silver out of anything above 226 grams, especially when you weigh them. So that was pretty cool. And Roy, I want to thank you again. I could never thank you enough for doing this for me. Bringing all these coins in all the way from Iowa to the East Coast for me to hunt. It's exciting knowing that they're coming and that they're here. It's awesome. I really appreciate you doing this. It's great. If you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do. And I would like to thank everyone for watching my latest video. And good luck on your next hunt.